murders, staff assaults, and use of force incidents. This is what often occurs inside the dangerous prisons of California. In a span of just 24 hours, two inmates would be dead at California State Prison Sacramento. On April 30th at 11.39 p.m., staff found Edward Bergman unresponsive in his cell, suffering from stab wounds. He was pronounced dead at 12.08 a.m. Taylor Cervantes is suspected in the attack. Both Bergman and Cervantes are murderers, serving life sentences. Later in the day, correctional staff observed Mario rushing, choking another inmate. Officers would issue verbal orders, then deploy chemical agents. After those efforts failed and the victim was losing consciousness, they opened fire with their mini-14 rifles, killing rushing. Rushing was also serving a life sentence for murder. California is well known for its dangerous state prisons, maybe the most unsafe in the country. Today, we'll be looking at those facilities. I'll be using statistics from 2022, since it's the last full calendar year, along with news stories to determine what are the most dangerous state prisons in California. A combination of deaths, use of force incidents, and number of high security offenders being housed at the prison was calculated. You can check out my data by clicking the link in the description. According to California, use of force includes chemical agents, physical force, less lethal weapons, and lethal weapons. When one or a combination of these are used, it counts as a use of force incident. Force can be used to subdue an attacker, overcome resistance, affect arrest in custody, prevent escape, or gain compliance with a lawful order. In other words, typically, the more use of force incidents at a prison, the more non-compliance is occurring. The older and more historic prisons in California have had their roles downgraded and no longer have the same issues they have had in the past. As you will see, they were left off my list. Let me know in the comments which ones I got wrong or what should be changed. I'll also include a couple bonus prisons that almost made my list. I've also made individual videos on some of these institutions. Check out that playlist at the end of the video. First, let's take a quick look at the state itself so we can get a broad view. The Golden State, California, is known for its beautiful scenery and Hollywood celebrities. California is a state with nearly 40 million people across 163,000 square miles, making it one of the most diverse, both geographically and demographically, in the United States. It has the largest economy in the country with a $3.37 trillion gross state product. If California were its own country, it would be the fifth most powerful economy in the world. According to FBI stats, California has the 17th highest violent crime rate. News broadcasts will often show the darker side, with gangs battling for territory, murdering anyone in their way. In May 2023, there was 91,648 men incarcerated in California prisons. Let's now get into our list. Here are the top five. Starting with number five, which may be a shocker for how low it is on my list. Pelican Bay State Prison, located near the coast in Northern California and only 13 miles from the Oregon border, Pelican Bay is a supermax facility for the state. It is so menacing, it has gained the nickname Skeleton Bay. According to the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation, the prison is designed to house California's most serious criminal offenders in a secure, safe, and disciplined institutional setting. California has reformed the use of solitary confinement, sending many of the inmates once housed here to other prisons across the state. It once could have easily been called the most dangerous in the state, but in 2022, use of force incidents are well below other prisons. There are three to 400 inmates residing in the secure housing unit at any time. But those inmates also have limited contact with staff and other offenders. There are now less than 1,000 high security inmates housed here. In October 2020, inmate Joshua Curley was found murdered in his cell. His cellmate, Jesse Rippey, was found in the recreation yard with injuries, indicating that he was involved in a physical altercation. Next on our list, at number four, is California State Prison, Sacramento. While the prison is named for the state capitol, it is actually about 25 miles from the capitol building. The mailing address is Repressa, California, but the prison is surrounded by Folsom, California. It is located next to Folsom State Prison and was first called New Folsom. While the official title has since changed, 
it has retained New Folsom as a popular nickname. The mission of the facility is to serve the public by safely and humanely housing maximum and high security offenders, as well as those requiring specialized mental health programming and high risk medical concerns. The facility has over 1,500 high security level four offenders. Over the years, several riots and massive fights have occurred at this facility. Incidents like the one highlighted at the beginning of this video can occur at any time. Number three, Salinas Valley State Prison is next up, actually located in Soledad, which is about 20 miles southeast of Salinas, near the scenic central coast and other beautiful scenery. This prison also has a dangerous reputation. Salinas Valley had the highest number of use of force incidents of all high security institutions in California with 637, which equates to 1.74 a day, making this a very active prison for violent incidents. On average, it houses 1,900 of the most dangerous men in California. There was an astounding 19 deaths at Salinas Valley in 2022. Not all of them were homicides. At this prison, staff were also not safe. On June 27, 2022, two guards were stabbed at the prison during a cell search. The officers were transported to the hospital and treated for lacerations. Carlos Pardomo was named as a suspect in the attack. He was serving a life without parole sentence for two counts of first degree murder. Before we move on to our next prison, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any of my new content. Number two on our list is High Desert State Prison. High Desert State Prison is located in the northwest portion of the state in Susanville, California. Susanville is a city that relies heavily on the prison industry. California Correctional Center, which is next to High Desert, is scheduled to close in June 2023, but it appears all inmates have already been transferred from here. While in 2020, use of force incidents are down, the reputation and news stories about the prison can't be ignored. The prison opened in 1995 and contains a mix of level three medium and level four high security inmates. There was an unbelievable six homicides at High Desert in 2022. Adding to the already high murder tally at the prison, High Desert easily earns a spot on the list. Number one on my list, for the most dangerous prison in California is Kern Valley State Prison. Kern Valley is located in Delano. Kern County has one of the highest concentrations of prisons in the world, with several others located inside the county. The prison opened in 2005 on 600 acres. It consists of four semi-autonomous facilities, housing the largest number of high security inmates in the California prison system. In 2022, the facility averaged over 2,700 high security inmates. While use of force incidents were lower than the previous two prisons, recent news stories have highlighted the dangerous conditions at this prison. 12 inmates lost their life at this prison in 2022. In June 2022, an attack would leave one inmate dead. Hector Jimenez was attacked and killed by Adrian Gurula and Esteban Seja. The pair attacked Jimenez in the day room with a shank at 7.18 p.m. By 7.27 p.m., he was pronounced deceased. That wraps up our list. But let's check out a couple other prisons that almost made the cut. California State Prison, Los Angeles County, was barely left off. It is the first and only state prison to be located in Los Angeles County. Although it is listed as a multi-mission facility, it houses over 1,600 high security inmates. Another prison, RJ Donovan Correctional Facility, also almost made the list. It mainly houses medium security inmates, but suffered from above average violent incidents. Although not all from homicide, the prison had 28 offenders die in 2022, the most in California. These are the most dangerous prisons in California. Let me know what I got wrong. Statistics don't always tell the full story, so let me hear from you. This was another prison profile from Chasing Crime. Thanks for watching. As always, see you next time.